So in conclusion, I've gone in and updated this chart. I'm now calling it the 5,880 years of Adam's curse and the visitations of the Shekinah glory. And as you can see, the numbers also shifted a little as we progress through our understanding of the celestial clock calendar. We see things starting to line up, especially around the year 2023 and the year 2024, which appears to be full of new beginnings. That time when we're all told to look up, well, I would advise you to get a printout at least of the celestial clock calendar to help you understand the times that you're looking at. You can take a look at it over at coachingthefight.shop. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, please leave us a comment and continue to pray for us. Hey y'all, Coach and Fire, guys, stay with me. Hey. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the 490 year Duay Digagal. Okay. All right. Is that how you pronounce it? Dua de Kagal. It means a 12 sided figure, 12 sided shape. We're going to be talking about the 12 sides when we're talking about how it takes 12 of these 490 year periods, we call them times in the Bible, to make up the 5,880 years of Adam's curse. This is also talking about the visitations of the Shekinah glory. This is a chart that Arm Faber and I was working on. But I wanted to share a little small tidbit of it with you. Something I think you might find real interesting. Okay. What you're looking at is the timeline from the time in the Garden of Eden until the time when we're supposed to make this transition over into the kingdom of heaven. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, uh, the inner circles of the celestial clock calendar. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can hear about that at coachingafight.shop. Right. Well, the part I think you'll be really interested in, the part you know we um, discovered here in the last 24 hours over the course of the Sabbath day, is how this correlates to our time. And if we superimpose the years on here, we can see how our Father's plan works. Like for instance here, the Garden of Eden, we got that correlating with about 2024, when the year was kind of supposed to make our way back to this garden. Mm -hmm. Well, if you start here and put 2024 as the year we're going back into the garden, looking at some of the things we've experienced, then it would be 2023 when you have the calendar issue. Here you see Gregorian calendar. Right. But in 2023, we had the uh, Jewish calendar being off by a year. Right. We had um, the sabbatical year. Mm -hmm. um, um, a lot of dealings with the calendar last year. That would be the year 2023. And then when you go back to the year 2022, you see the great schism listed there. Yeah. But as far as we're concerned, that's the year when Jacob's trouble ended. Right. You remember all of that in 2022? I do. So if you go back another year, you see Byzantine Empire on the chart, but that would be around the year 2021, mm -hmm. which would be all of the, the shakes ups. And I don't know, we can figure out. Um, I, I wish I had recorded it earlier. Um, remember what the, the Lord had brought to me as far as this period of time, but it would be dealing with some type of error, like an error from the church or something like that misspoken in the year 2021. Maybe related to Jacob's trouble and the tribulation and all of that. There's some error there. Okay. That's what the Byzantine Empire was all about. It was kind of an error. And it was during the great schism that they, the error started to uh, show itself in it when they split up. But if we keep going back in time, um, 2020 would be the year corresponding with the Messiah's return. Mm -hmm. And that, you, you had a lot going on in 2020. It was kind of like the, a good time, whereas 2022 was a breakup, 2021 was a confusing time, 2022 was a breakup time, 
2023 was calendar time. 2024 is when it's all going to get settled out. Keep going back. 2019 um, was a split. I can't remember everything I said. Man, I, I was way in the split. I can't remember none of it now. I don't know. And but okay, so that's 2019. There's 2018, which the tribes divided. That's the time to start reading the third testament of the Bible. 2017 is the crossing over the River Jordan. That's when we saw the Revelation 12 sign in the sky. 2016 was the sabbatical year, it corresponds to the Abrahamic covenant. See that? 2015 was when we started getting involved with it. That's the Noahic covenant. That's when it had Noah's flood. That's when we went across the ark in 2015. In 2014, that's when we made the decision that we was going to do such things. That corresponds with the time that Noah was born in the first place. And then you go back to 2013. That takes us all the way back to Rossville during the time of the fallen angels. When we basically started hearing from the angels again as they was putting us on track. So it shouldn't necessarily say fallen angels in our period. It was back then, but in our period, it's a getting better time as the angels start to help those that want to be righteous. Give them decisions if they want to get on the ark with Noah or not. Give them a little bit of time to prove it as they do in 2016. Then he starts talking about the covenant. If they keep the covenant, it starts crossing the River Jordan. That's when we went into the wilderness in 2017. Then in 2018 is when we had that split. It's when, you know, people start calling the police, talking about, well, you know, this, that, and the other. And then in 2019 is when we solidify. I remember we started talking about the, uh, the, um, uh, trials will start to go start lifting up on us and that's when we start you know start stop being in so much financial trouble in 2019 2020 when everybody started even the rock of barnum started singing songs 2020 go meet a year everybody thought we was going to kingdom heaven in 2020 then 2021 the church came back and said hey hi everybody was wrong you, you stupid you should have listened to coach to fight all them dumbasses and they got everybody tricked up on breaking the sabbath day again and then of course it comes in 2023 when it gives the perfect opportunity to break the sabbath day when each even those who want to get right are making mistakes. Then, um, well, take that back. Then you have after the after the, the 2019 when people decided if you know whether they was going to do Passover or whether they were going to do Easter. You basically had the split in 2022 when there was a, a solid split and a breakup around the world as people decided to do Passover instead of Easter. And then 2023 was those who wanted to keep the faith had a breakup because of the uh, mix up when the calendars where the Jewish calendar took effect and basically putting everybody back on the mark of the beast all before we get to 2024 when we enter the kingdom of heaven and all this is all over yeah. okay. at least that that's what I lot. think that was a lot but you still ain't took care of that misspelling of the word divided <sighs> thank you Steph where you get that man? Matter of fact, hold on, let me see, get that piece right now. It's on the whole thing, too. I got the E. I gotta put I in there. Yeah. Well, I hope you got anything out of this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. But leave us a comment either way. And shalawama. <laughs> shalawama. What you laughing for? You ain't finished? You got something to say? No, I just, I don't know. Was I supposed to spot that? Yeah, you supposed to spot that. Well, what was I supposed to say it on the video? <laughs> Everybody should know that you you helping out. That's correct. Now divide it. Didn't have enough eyes in there. Didn't have enough. Didn't have an eye. Have to look in that Greek and see the difference between the di and the de. I bet it's a big deal. All right, y'all. We out. Oh, one other thing I want to show about the biggest thing on here. Oh, one out, and that's right here. Notice this inner triangle. It's right. funny looking triangle, and it seems to be insignificant, like like decorations. It is. Thing about it, when you look at it closely, and you look at what it points to, it points over here to the Garden of Eden, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you go around, it points next to the Abrahamic Covenant. Mm 
Yeah. Well, around again, it points to the Messiah mm-hmm. and comes back to the garden. See the pattern? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You say, what's the biggest deal? Well, you look here in this time right here, the fallen angels. Well, in this in this time of the garden, this was during a time of Cain and then Seth was born afterwards. This is the time of Jared. And then Enoch was born afterwards. This is the time of Methuselah and Noah was born afterwards. This is the time of Noah and then Seth was born afterwards. But this is the time of Abraham and the Abraham covenant came afterwards. See the difference? Mm -hmm. So then you have the crossing of the river Jordan with Moses. No, it was with Joshua who came afterwards. Then you have Solomon's temple. No, not Solomon's temple. It's right after Solomon's temple that it even got divided. Then you have the second temple with Daniel. No, the temple came afterwards. Then you had the Messiah. He showed up before. Hmm. He was born before the 409. He was born before. He was born doing. He was born before and was there when the Shekinah glory came down like Abraham was. None of the rest were. Hmm. Except us. We're born before, and we'll be alive when it hits in 2024. If it hits in 2024. But anyway, y'all, we're going to close this out. We're going to see you in the next video. Bye.